How has Barbie inspired you both personally in, in your lives? She gave me a chance to make a movie with Greta Gerwig, and uh, that's been a, a big goal of mine for many, many years. So I think also making the movie, in making the movie, I learned so much more about Barbie that I was unaware of, and um, I'm, I'm impressed, I have to say. I totally see all the arguments why she's, you know, people have taken issue with Barbie over the years. I absolutely see that side of it too. But now that I've had the chance to really delve into the world of Barbie and the 60 plus year legacy, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I can't think of another toy that's had this kind of popularity for so long. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Barbie has helped to break stereotypes in the real world? I think a lot of the time she's reinforced stereotypes, but then the companies like Mattel as a company have mm -hmm. tried to break out of that. And, and I think their intentions have always been really pure. I think their intentions were always to let kids imagine the biggest whatever they wanted out of their lives and mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's just a piece of plastic but it's a, a device I think for mm -hmm. kids to either imagine scenarios or understand scenarios and I think that as a tool is important. Perfect so Barbie and Ken live in a perfect pink world how positive do you think that it's actually to live in this type of world where there, everything is perfect and everything is pink? I think it works if you're a Barbie and a Ken, but I don't think it works if you're a human. Yeah, and I think uh, I think the whole kind of the catalyst for the journey that my character goes on begins when she starts experiencing complicated thoughts and feelings, primarily th thoughts of death, mm -hmm. uh, which at first is very funny, but with that comes a bigger conversation about life and uh, and all the things that you have to accept when you sign up for that. And when you grow old. And getting old, exactly. <laughs> Guys, of course, I, I would like to ask you about the, there's always been the debate between good cinema, bad cinema, and I, I ask you this because, Ryan, you actually expressed that this was the best script you have ever read. So this is, well, it's, it's a brand, it's a commercial movie. Do you think that it's actually difficult to create art from a commercial movie? You did it. I think, I think this <laughs> was movie it difficult? does that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think people often discredit big movies as being surface level, and I think this movie is anything but. I think uh, it's so important to align yourself with the kind of creative geniuses that you want to work with. That's always been a goal of mine. And in this movie, we have award-winning designers, cinematographers, production designers, costume designers, hair and makeup designers. I mean, everyone is at the highest level, and you see the results in the movie. Um, but all those wonderful talents can't be accessed if you don't have a director like Greta who's really asking for that, pushing for that, and, and creating a space for people to give their very best of their talents. And she did that, and everyone gave the very best of their talents. I think it, um, just this film, the opportunity to work with Margot and, and Greta and work on a, a set that they, um, in an environment that they created, really brought the best out of me and I, I think it brought the best out of everyone. I think it was a, it was such a, a lesson in how, um, you know, in, it, it, environment can, can create sort of the, the best um, conditions for, for people to do their work. They sort of, I, I, I feel like um, this is why you should talk and I should have, <laughs> you see? 